Hello and welcome to Soft Spoken Storytime. I'm Cozy Kitten ASMR, and this is SCP-064, Flawed Von Neumann Structure. Item number SCP-064, Object Class, Safe. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-064 is to be kept in a suitably remote area for observation. Current goals are to generate a geometric model of the object's behavioral pattern and to observe any changes in this pattern due to location and soil composition. Certain sites in the Gobi Desert and Australian Outback, as well as a number of salt flats scattered around the globe, are under consideration for future testing. SCP-064's current location is classified to all personnel under security clearance level 3. Once growth has stopped, field teams are to document the structure's size, shape, and composition and remove the object for transport to a new site. Description SCP-064 is a light brown earthenware brick composed primarily of silicone oxides and some organic matter. The object weighs 1.6 kilograms and measures some 10 centimeters by 6 centimeters by 20 centimeters. Its surface is smooth and flat with some minor cosmetic chips. By and large, the object is visually similar to most solid bricks used in construction. When left lying on a flat expanse of soft earth, SCP-064 will begin to multiply through an unknown mechanism. Close observation reveals the appearance of an irregular lattice of silicone fibers in the shape of the original object, which then fills and solidifies with a soil-based mixture until it attains the proper mass. This process may be similar to mycelial propagation in fungi, with microscopic root structures mining minerals from soil in the immediate vicinity. Under optimal conditions, soil composition at roughly 90% silicon dioxide, it takes approximately 70 minutes for one complete brick to appear. Given a large expanse of earth to work with, SCP-064 produces a highly complex, but theoretically stable, freestanding brick structure, including floors and ceilings. Past observations indicate that the structure could attain the shape of a 12-pointed star over 10 kilometers in diameter and of considerable height. However, this is speculative, as growth stops permanently once the structure contacts a significant obstacle, observed to include any solid object over 10 kilograms in mass. Structural integrity is very high as bricks orient themselves to be as level as possible and fit together almost perfectly. Interestingly, the structure's growth is tailored to a specific set of cardinal directions. 
with SCP-064 always being the northernmost brick on the lowest level. SCP-064 must be attached for growth to occur. Once SCP-064 is removed, the structure begins to decay, and all secondary bricks crumble to dust at a rate roughly equal to their rate of appearance. Replacing the object within 20 minutes halts this decay and allows growth to continue. Past this threshold, the process is irreversible. SCP-064 was found by chance in April of 20 redacted. During satellite observation of an elevated plateau in the Andes Mountains, a camera operator noted that one structure was apparently growing. Extrapolating the object's approximate location from the structure's apparent direction of growth, which stopped during recovery, field teams located the object by differences in color between SCP-064 and its secondary bricks, which were high in iron oxides from the local soil. A full excavation of the original site is underway in order to ascertain the object's cultural and technological origins. SCP-065 Destroyed Organic Catalyst Item number SCP-065 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures As SCP-065 cannot be moved, it has been contained on site, and site redacted has been established around it. Site redacted has been marked as a government research facility, off limits to civilians, and unauthorized individuals attempting to gain access to the area are to be detained, questioned, and administered a Class A amnestic if deemed necessary by site security. An area 17 meters in radius around the center of SCP-065 has been designated the red zone. Personnel may not enter the red zone of SCP-065 at any time, and experimentation with SCP-065 may only be performed with prior approval from at least two Level 3 senior research staff. Personnel at high risk of cancer must not be assigned to site redacted, and all site redacted personnel must undergo mandatory monthly physical evaluations, including cancer screenings. Description SCP-065 is a spherical region of space, approximately 12 meters in radius, located on a farm near Redacted. SCP-065 was formed by the destruction of an anomalous artifact on site by the Global Occult Coalition on Redacted. Immediately following this initial event, the radius of SCP-065 was estimated to have initially expanded to 108 
meters in radius, resulting in the deaths of 11 GOC operatives and 5 civilians. Since containment by the Foundation, the effective radius of SCP-065 has shrunk to and remained stable at its current size. SCP-065 causes abnormal transfiguration of any living organism within its area of effect. These effects include, but are not limited to, regression of specialized cells to an undifferentiated stem state. Spontaneous separation and fusion of undifferentiated cells. Spontaneous necrosis of living tissue and reanimation of dead tissue. Rapid genetic mutation of living tissue. These effects occur at a rate proportional to the mass and complexity of the organism. Plants and insects show few, if any, effects. Small animals will exhibit alterations following several days of exposure. Larger animals will show harmful mutations within hours. And all human subjects exposed to the red zone have been fatally altered within approximately 15 minutes of exposure. To date, all attempts at directly observing the center of SCP-065 have failed. As SCP-065 causes a form of extreme sensory confusion in all observers that extends to recording equipment, affected personnel have reported highly distorted vision and hearing that persists for several hours and can result in severe dizziness and nausea. Addendum 065-1 Researcher Note On Redacted, a robotic rover designed to use somatosensory rather than visual or acoustic navigation managed to reach the center of SCP-065 and retrieve several objects. When pieced back together, these objects appear to be shattered fragments of a stone figurine of Cocopelli, a Native American fertility deity. Along with the pre-incident data obtained from the Global Occult Coalition, it appears that this artifact had been used by the civilian family to boost the yield of their farm, and only came to the attention of the GOC when an investigation by the United States Department of Agriculture revealed genetic markers in their supposed organic crops, consistent with those of genetically modified organism crops. The GOC attempted an on-site destruction of this artifact resulting in the creation of SCP-065. Following this incident, the GOC contacted a Foundation liaison and requested assistance 
in containing the resultant anomaly. Dr. Redacted. Addendum 065-2 Attached Document The following document was recovered from the formerly civilian-owned farmhouse at site redacted. John, I heard things aren't going so well back at home. I wish I could come back and help right now, but it's tough over here right now as well, and we're on the verge of some important discoveries. I know it's not much, but I found this during the trip. The man who gave it to me described it as a representation of that which is and that which might be. Plant it by the cornfield, and hopefully it will help make ends meet. See you soon. G. SCP-066 Eric's Toy SCP-066 Prior to Incident 066-2 Item number SCP-066 Object Class Safe Protest Crossed Out Euclid Impetus Special Containment Procedures SCP-066 is to be kept in a safe deposit box at Site-21. Personnel Level 2 or higher may perform experiments on SCP-066 after filing the relevant request forms. Researchers may log their results in Experiment Log 066 Beta. All of that is crossed out. SCP-066 is to be kept in a tungsten carbide box in Site-21's high-value item storage facility. Once every month, this box must be manually inspected for damage to the interior. Footnote 1 SCP-066 consistently destroys any recording devices placed inside its containment box. If damage is present, SCP-066 must be moved to a new box. This task is performed via a robotic arm capable of performing the task in under three seconds. Description SCP-066 is an amorphous mass of braided yarn and ribbon weighing approximately one kilogram. Strands of SCP-066 may be taken individually and manipulated. When this is done, a note on the diatonic scale C, D, E, F, G, A, B is produced by the object. When a set of six or more notes are produced, SCP-066 will produce a benign is crossed out, effect of varying nature and duration. SCP-066 will not respond to manipulation 
while any effect produced by it is in progress. Prior to Incident 066-2, results have included SCP-066 transformed into a small calico kitten for 17 minutes. The kitten exhibited significant friendliness and playfulness and appeared to be declawed. A song lasting four minutes, acoustic guitar with a vocal accompaniment by singer-songwriter Redacted. The lyrics warned the listener not to use sharp objects without parental supervision. A small cupcake, chocolate with chocolate frosting, and a lit candle stuck in the top. Notably, the tones produced prior to this effect corresponded to the opening notes of Happy Birthday. SCP-066 became responsive after said cupcake was consumed. Incident 066-2 On April 18th, 2008, D-066 Four four three seven was instructed to use a pair of scissors to remove a portion of SCP-066 for testing. However, when he began to cut it, SCP-066 rolled one meter away from him before stopping and making an unidentified squeaking sound. Before he could be provided with further instruction, D-066-4437 attempted to cut it again. SCP-066 rolled away and produced the phrase, Are you Eric? in response. After D-066-4437 replied in the negative, SCP-066 morphed into its present state and began emitting loud dissonant staccato notes until D-066-4437 was escorted from the room. After Incident 066-2, SCP-066 began to exhibit behavior highly inconsistent with its previous properties. SCP-066 now displays significant mobility, primarily in the form of being able to move tentacular portions of itself at very high speed. While SCP-066 is either unable or unwilling to use this ability for transportation, it will occasionally attempt to damage its containment by rubbing its strands against the side of the box, gradually wearing it down. This process appears to be unusually effective for the materials in consideration. Additionally, 
SCP-066 will automatically produce notes and effects in the presence of any human, regardless of whether that human interacts with SCP-066. This process takes a minimum of six seconds. In the aftermath of Incident 066-2, effects produced by SCP-066 have included A single bee was released near the containment, stinging D-4436 before flying away. The bee was not captured. It is unknown how the bee survived. Beethoven's Second Symphony was played at over 140 decibels, causing permanent deafness in three personnel and permanent hearing damage in eight others. The room containing SCP-066 experienced a sudden and complete absence of light for five hours. Personnel in the room reported hearing loud breathing behind their shoulders, although no source was apparent. When it is not producing anomalous effects, SCP-066 will say the name Eric constantly in a deep, masculine voice.